What's up guys? So we had a meeting the other day and pretty much all the operators are in trouble for not paying attention to general maintenance and taking care of the equipment. So I just got off work. I'm gonna do a quick walkthrough of what you're supposed to do in the morning when you show up. I don't do it in the morning because you know it's early, I'm grumpy as fuck and it's dark, blah, whatever. So <clears throat> first thing you're gonna do when you come in walk around the machine make sure there ain't nothing that looks funny obviously the gauge inside for your death you're gonna check your diesel exhaust fluid that's gonna go right here this is a cat 335 every machine's gonna be different see that death you'll have a gauge inside that'll tell you if it needs some or not but if you can fit some in there doesn't hurt just to top it off Next, we're gonna come up here, the engine bay. That comes up. Check and make sure your coolant is full. Just did that yesterday, so it doesn't need anything. If it does, you just top it off a little bit. You have one dipstick right here. This is for your oil. You're gonna check that. The machine's been running and it's hot, so usually you check the oil when it's cold, I believe. <sighs> got yeah, one more dipstick for your hydraulic oil again the machine just got turned off so it's not going to give you accurate reading i don't think i'm not a mechanic i know if it says it's got oil in it it's good and it does you know check the fluids check the filters anything after that you got to call a real man to deal with it every morning Sometimes we get complacent and we don't. Oh, I guess I gotta open both of these at once. We don't, uh. Go ahead. Oh, that's not where the air filter is. Air filter's on the other side. Like I said, every machine is different. Go knock the dust out of the air filter and then we're good. It's been a pretty dry day, so all the tracks didn't really need to be. There's no mud or nothing, so that's good. All right, so that's your first step. After you check all the fluids, this is more of a preventative maintenance thing than a making sure it's not going to blow up thing, but this is where your air box is. I'm going to pop these tabs off of that. And since I had to clean the filter out of the rental, I might as well clean the filter out of this one shit Let's see if i can prop you guys up somewhere Ooh, i can just stick you back in the engine oh, no i can't god damn it all right there we go. It's a little awkward but we're gonna try to make it work this is also gonna have dual filters Ooh, look at how pretty and white that is that's nice that's what you want to see that doesn't even look i could eat off that that's how clean it is fucking beautiful this on the other hand not so much. Woo, that's dirty. Jesus Christ. Knock the dust off that thing. Hear me? Again, it's probably better to use a high pressure air or something but we don't have a compressor on site so I'm just gonna knock the dust out of it there we go <laughs> probably should have worn my mask stick that back in there all right there we go Nice clean filter so she can breathe. Alright. 
So that's that one. And then after you do all of that, then you get in the machine. And if it's first thing in the morning, it's probably cold. If you live somewhere like I do, it's probably cold. Of course, it's warming up, so that's nice. We'll go ahead, flip. Oh, then you clean all the windows. <laughs> you don't do, I don't really wash the windows at the end of the day because there's still people out here working and the shit's all gonna be covered with dust in the morning, but definitely. The glare from the sun because of the dust on the windows will fucking drive you insane. So we got some some wishy wash back here. Clean all your windows up. All right. So it's first thing in the morning. It's cold. You're gonna take this key, pop it to the first where it says I. I guess that means ignition, whatever. And then you're just gonna let it sit here. The machine's been running, so it's not gonna. It's not going to say warm up in progress or whatever. So usually you just click the key and it'll tell you when it's ready to <laughs> ready to get to work. And you start it up, check all your gauges, everything's good. And then we fuel it up. And that's the beginning of the day. I'm sure my supervisor's watching this. So if I forgot something, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna hear about it in the comment section. Oh, almost forgot my key. And then at the end of the day, it's pretty much the same thing, only you just take your lunch trash out of the machine and sweep the mats and everybody just left, so that's already done. And that's it. Any fluids are low or whatever, let your super know and he'll bring them to you but if you guys are watching this do that every day to avoid getting your ass chewed the way we did the other day trust me